Hello, Psychonauts. Welcome to the video. I'm here to talk about one of my favorite things to dive into, and that is the mystery of DMT. Specifically, I want to talk about DMT hyperspace. I really want to get into the philosophy of DMT hyperspace and really answer the question, what is DMT hyperspace? I mean, where is DMT hyperspace? Where do you go during a DMT trip if you go anywhere? So that is everything that today's video is going to be about. Now, I take a lot of my ideas from various inspirations. Of course, Terrence McKenna is a big inspiration, but a lot of my ideas about what DMT hyperspace actually is in terms of like, is it a place? What is it? Is it a dimension? Is it just in your brain? Um, I take a lot of ideas from alien information theory, Andrew Gallimore. Also, I feel like a little bit of like maybe Donald Hoffman and the case against reality. The idea of, you know, we don't really see reality and kind of our, our space time, our perception is just, it's a headset. And anyway, so that being said, the rest of this is just all gonna, it's all gonna just come out of my brain, okay? And we're gonna have a discussion about the nature of DMT hyperspace itself, because I think this is one of the biggest mysteries of DMT, maybe even more so than the entities, is that you seem to transport to another place entirely, okay? So the question of what is DMD hyperspace, I think is actually like two questions. The first being, what do we mean when we say DMD hyperspace? And I think that one is easy enough to answer. Um, DMT hyperspace is the place that you go to during a DMT trip. People often report feeling like they have transported into a another dimension another place another reality it's this reality is replaced with an entirely different one and what it's replaced with is a space typically described with a hyperbolic nature um incomprehensible structure i mean insurmountable beauty uh among other things uh, it's also described as being hyper real, so it tends to feel more real than reality itself. These are all characteristics of the experience of entering DMT hyperspace. And this is a very commonly had experience with people who have the what is called the DMT breakthrough. I think the breakthrough phenomenon is what's associated with this hyperspatial realm. And I just I'm really interested in the underlying nature of what this space is, like what it means to break through to hyperspace. Uh, like, are we actually traveling somewhere? Are we actually entering a new dimension? Or is this something that's all happening in the brain? Now, I think that that's, you know, reducing it to something that's just happening in the brain is a little bit, it doesn't really get at the question because this space is very clearly phenomenologically real, okay? There is a space that has definable characteristics that people are experiencing with the help of DMT. And <laughs> I think I'm just gonna start by talking about uh, my main theories about like what I actually, what I think is going on. And this is gonna be an intuitive explanation. It's not gonna be a technical explanation. We're just talking. So I'm just trying to convey this idea. And I typically think of all space as mental, you know, reality is mental. Um, so physical reality is, is more like a special case of a higher mental mathematical reality. Uh, physical reality is just what our brains are tuned to perceive, but there's a lot more dimensions to reality than just what we perceive. And what I what I really think happens in a very real way during a DMT experience is that your brain tunes into another dimension of reality, whether this is a higher dimension or an orthogonal dimension. I really like that idea. It's a dimension distinct from the three dimensions that we're perceiving in front of us in this 
material reality. So like I said, I kind of take a lot of my my own philosophy about this from, from other ideas. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think there is really something about, you know, we don't actually see reality. That what we're seeing at all times is a projection of our mind, is a projection. Um, whether that's our 3D reality or whether it's DMD hyperspace, it's a projection. The question is, you know, what is the correspondence between, you know, what we're seeing and what's actually out there? Like, what is actually going on? What information reality consists of? And how that relates to, like, what the projection of our mind is showing us. And I actually think that DMT is showing us a very real part of reality. I don't think it's a hallucination in the sense that you know, it's it's entirely made up, entirely generated by the brain. It is generated by the brain, but so is physical reality. It's also generated by the brain. Now, this is kind of touching a little bit on alien information theory, sort of this idea that, you know, reality, we can look at reality as made of information. And, um, you know, typically our brains are sort of set up in a way in which we perceive the information, the information of reality is the input and we get, we perceive this, but there's, there's a way you can sort of switch your brain. <laughs> and this is how DMT acts as a technology. You can switch your brain to start actually, I don't know how to word this. Um, Cause I'm not, <laughs> stay with me. Your brain to actually take in this higher dimensional information and use that to create, to project the higher dimensional space of DMD hyperspace. Um, I hope you could stay with me for a second. <laughs> anyway, let me, let me talk to you about one of my, or some of my experiences with DMD hyperspace. So it was actually about a year ago that I had my most distinct breakthrough ever. It was around Halloween time. I did a live DMT experience. It's on this channel if you want to check that out. And what was so compelling about the experience was how distinctly I felt transported into this hyperspace, this other dimension, this orthogonal dimension of reality. I was there more than I had ever been there any other time. I was there in the same way that I'm here right now. And one thing I think this relates to, uh, I get this in DMT trips where I, I, my sense of body location starts to get all fuzzy where, you know, normally your sense of body location, it's, you know, it's telling you you're right here. And it's really, there's really no question of it. You know, most people, I think most people probably go their entire lives and you just, you don't really think it's something that is questionable or that it could be something different. But I have these DMT trips where my sense of body location tells me, okay, you're not here. You're, at, you're not here. Like, you're not localized in this body. This is not where you are. And I sense myself further out. It's so, it's so strange. It's so strange. Um, I, I really cannot get over the strangeness and the mystery of what is what is possibly going on like where do you go where do you go during a dmt trip um so back to that that most distinct breakthrough experience this also had the quality of being very hyper real um the place that i entered that i was in felt like more of reality than even like it felt like my life you know my my regular life was was the dream was that was more of the projection and this was more of a, a raw unfiltered view of reality itself it also there's also usually a feeling of familiarity like like you know this space you've you've been here before um maybe in some sense you're always here there's 
there's really so many different angles to look at this and analyze the DMD hyperspace question from. Um, you know, sometimes I want to get into more spiritual domains and analyze it from that sort of perspective, but I'm kind of going to just stick with the, the philosophy of what's going on. <laughs> Stay with me. I'm getting a little sidetracked. Um, so another idea of like kind of what I think is going on, as I say, I kind of think reality Reality has all these levels to it. You could think of it as like a, a mathematical reality, an information reality. It's just all of this. And physical reality is not really physical reality. It's just a special case, okay? There are parameters to physical reality and our brain is tuned to those parameters, okay? But you, when, what happens with DMT is it changes the tuning mechanism. You it opens it up and your brain can now tune into these other dimensions of reality, this higher dimension. Um, it really feels like a tuning process. There, There's sometimes a, I often get this like vibration as I'm approaching DMT hyperspace. Like I feel this, this vibration. And um, this is, this, this sort of tuning process is happening. And I had this one experience specifically where, you know, I got these these voices, whether myself or entities, that you know how to do this. You know how to do this. As I'm tuning into this higher dimension, this higher domain of consciousness, which I'm saying, you know, reality, the basis of reality itself is consciousness. So it's really no surprise that you can travel through consciousness, that you can travel in a very real way through dimensions of consciousness. We're tuned into this one. DMT allows us to tune into a higher one, to this other dimension, the DMT dimension, hyperspace, whatever you want to call it. And you tune in and then you're set and you're perceiving that reality. You're perceiving that dimension. And it's an indescribable experience. I, I've tried to describe it in so many different ways. And, you know, sometimes I get caught up on, you know, what are the intricacies of the geometry? I said it was hyperbolic, which I think hyperbolic geometry, well, it's geometry, it has like negative curvature. And the thing that I like to say about it is it's more spacey space. That's the best way I like to describe it. Like in our regular 3D space, if you have a line and there's a point not on that line, there's like one parallel line that goes through that point, okay? But in hyperbolic space, if you do that same thing, there's infinitely many parallel lines that are parallel to the to the first line, okay? So it's like, it really is like more spacey space. Like there's more space in every single direction. And the structure and the physics of this space is very different from our everyday reality. But just because it's different, I mean, I really think that there are like rules to it and that you could study the physics of DMD hyperspace and get a better understanding of what like what's actually going on, what the nature of this space actually is. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited to do to get back into more field re research when the time is right, as I like to call it. Um, <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind my brain. This is just kind of how it works. I have to, sometimes I have to do like some of the philosophizing in real time because if I try to stick to like structure and notes, I miss some of the, I miss some of the wonder and the mystery that naturally arises when I'm thinking about these things in real time. So I hope you're thinking about these things with me. Uh, I kind of want to go back to the question of where, where is DMT hyperspace? Because that's an interesting question. I, th I think that can kind of trip you up. You might think it's a nonsensical question depending on your view of reality, but there's no doubting that the DMT space is phenomenologically real. So if we're asking the question, where is it? You could say, you could say it's in the brain, but that, that really doesn't give a satisfying answer. Where is it? Where is DMT hyperspace? I think that it's just... It's an interesting question that really gets you thinking about what the nature of this space could be. Uh, <laughs> the idea of it being an orthogonal dimension is really appealing to me because it really feels like it's, it's just, it's in another direction. You know, like you perceive these dimensions, 
here's the directions of these dimensions, right? And then it's so hard. You can't even imagine another direction. You can't even imagine it until it's right in front of you. And there it is. There's this other direction that reality goes on infinitely into. You know, like space is, it just goes on and on in every direction. But there's another direction that it, there's, there's just so much. It's so, this is why it's so astonishing. It's not just the entity encounters. It's not just the, the visuals of, of complex and intricate and just unimaginable beauty. I remember one time what I was seeing was just so beautiful that I just, I felt undeserving. I was like, I can't even believe that I'm seeing this. I can't believe that I'm seeing something this beautiful. I don't even deserve it. It's beautiful, like, in the way that nature is beautiful, in the way that, like, nature and and space is beautiful. It's It's beautiful in that way. Like, it's a, I don't know, it's like a creation of the universe, and it's, there's just a sense of just awe in it, just complete and utter awe that, you know, this can even exist in the first place. I, it's so hard to believe that it can even exist. It, you know, I, I don't even know how I would even imagine an experience of this type if I, if, you know, if I hadn't had it myself. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I might be coming to the conclusion of this video. Uh, you know, to sum it up, I really think that you go, you enter another dimension when you have a DMT trip, when you have a DMT breakthrough, that hyperspace is just as real as our physical reality. I mean, I know that that's a bold claim saying it's just as real, but I at least think that there is in the truly genuine information that builds our reality, that is the basis of our reality and that there really is information that we pick up on during a DMT trip that our brain then projects and you know gives us the DMT space I really think that there is a correspondence between what's actually going on in reality so I don't think that it's just purely something internally generated I think that there's an external component that is giving the the signals that you know this is this is what is reality. I know that that's, this is all just, this is all a lot. It, it's, it's, it's a mystery. It's probably going to be a mystery for <laughs> the entire time that I pursue and think about it. But I just love trying to understand and trying to see what else, you know, we can learn. I hope that there's even more research into DMT because this is so interesting. I, I, I can't, I just can't fathom the idea that this is not interesting, no matter your perspective, a materialist perspective or a more like idealist perspective. I think either way, this is such a fascinating and complex and just never ending. I don't know. It seems never ending from this point mystery. And all I want to do is dive in and learn more about it. So yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, you'll see me in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>